today we're going to talk about overcoming the world. Now, overcoming the world means we're talking about this whole system around us. You see, we are in this world, which really is in some way hostile towards God. That's why, uh, especially in the book of John, John, uh, John and his epistles, he refers to the world as in darkness. The whole world, he says, lies in the lap of the wicked one. The whole world is in darkness. And here you are, you and I, we're in this world, in a totally hostile environment, a dark environment, so to speak. We're talking about in spiritual terms. So how can we live victorious over the world? And the world is, is, is you know, having is pull on us. And if you and I want to broadly categorize the challenges that we face in the world, we could put it in these three broad buckets, so to speak. You know, we could say, number one, uh, there are the attractions of the world, the influences and the attractions that we face. Secondly, there are the cares and the pressures that we all face. The responsibilities awaits the pressures. And the third one is, of course, hardships, troubles, trials, persecutions, difficulties, unexpected things happen. You know, so when we talk about the world, we're talking about all of this. So let's just expand a little bit on that. And then we, what we want to focus on is how do we overcome these things? How do you live victorious in the midst of all these things? But let's just talk about the, the challenges we face. First of all, you know, the influences and the attractions of this world. Oh, you know, none of us are exempt from it. So in the world, there is moral decay, corruption. But as a believer, God has already given you what you need to escape it. Amen? That means you don't have to go on with the same corruption. You don't have to have the decay of your moral character just because you and I are in the world. But God has given to us His divine nature and these exceeding great and precious promises so that by these, you know, we can escape the corruption that's in the world. Second challenge that you and I face as believers is the cares and the pressures of this world. God wants to do a very wonderful work in your life, in my life. But you know what? If we aren't careful, we will let the pressures of this world actually choke what God wants to do through us. And so how do we live victorious over that? The good thing is we know, 1 Peter 5 verse 7, it says, Casting all your cares on Him because He cares for you. So you and I can actually live a life that's free from the cares. Meaning, not run away from it, but you're able to handle it. You live up to it. You deliver your, on your deadlines. You meet your targets. You do the things you have to do. And yet be able to do it with that sense of freedom because you've dropped your cares over on the Lord. And then think about the hardships, the trials, the difficulties we all face. And no life is exempt from storm. Even if you're building on the rock, Jesus said, the winds and the waves will come. The storms will come. The winds and the waves will come. The waters will rise. So going through life has its challenges, its tribulations, its troubles. The Christian life is not exempt from tribulation, from hardships, from difficulties, from trials. But the wonderful thing is that while we are facing those things, we can walk in the peace and the cheer that comes from God. Amen? So, these are the challenges we face in the world. How do we live victorious over these things? How can we, you know, overcome these things? And I want to just, you know, put it down very simply. I want to share four biblical instructions. So, the first thing that we must learn to do is to set our desires, our affections on things above. So while we are living on the earth and we are engaging with the things of the earth, our primary affections are on heavenly things. We have set our affection on things above. Secondly, we are sanctified by the Word and the Spirit. The third, key for us, a biblical, practical instruction on how we overcome the world is that we must live by faith in God and with a renewed mind. The last point that I want to just mention here, as we talk about living, overcoming, victorious lives, it may seem 
paradoxical. It may seem exactly opposite of what I've said, but it's still biblical. We must learn to be spiritually minded and earthly wise. Remember, you and I are sheep in the midst of wolves. And so we need to engage with wisdom from God and outsmart the devil. Outsmart the sons of this world. And we can with the wisdom that comes from God. Amen.